thousand. That's fantastic. Okay. Okay. How are we doing? Good. How are you doing? <laughs> How are you doing? Gotcha. Good. Here we go. <laughs> da, da, da. Ready? Uh, Hi, I'm Alyssa. And I'm Atoki, and this is Expert Amateur Fraud, a show where we try to figure out who the expert is and who's faking it. And today, we're going to be interviewing three gold Who do we have? <gasps> tattoo tattoo artists. artists! Okay. Oh. Do you have tattoos? I don't have any tattoos. Nor do I. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> I have a little twist for today's episode. Hi. Hi. Hello. So, whoever you guys think is the expert will be tattooing me. Oh my god! <laughs> That's a lot more pressure now. This is terrifying. We're, we're usually goofing and gaffing, yeah. dilly dallying, as I, you will. I have all the confidence in both of you, so. Awesome. Thank That's you. No pressure. You shouldn't. <laughs> Hello. Howdy. Well, thanks for having us. Welcome. Hello. What's your name? I'm Zyla. Zyla, nice to also meet you. Also known as Bloodless, as my artist name. So these are coil machines. Okay. Um, they're known as like the more um, popular old school machines. So what makes it a coil machine is they have these two coils that are right over here. This is your front coil and then that's your back coil. And then these are tubes and then needles, which we won't be opening since this is in a licensed establishment and we don't want to prick anybody yet. Oh, so. sure. <laughs> the reason why I love uh, tattooing is because I've always wanted to find a career path which involved my talents. You have a lot of tattoos? I don't. I noticed yeah, a lot of so bear. I have, this says Dusk and Dawn, and then this is Living on a Prayer, the Bon Jovi song. A werewolf. Oh, that's Whoa. dope. And then, of course, my moon. <laughs> Did you do any of these yourself, though? No, um, I don't really believe in putting, like, tattoos on myself due to the fact that I just know that if I do, one day I might regret it. I'd rather have somebody, like, professional do it. I mean, I'm a professional as well, but I'd rather have, like, somebody that I'm, like, collecting art from do it for me. Gotcha. Oh, very cool. Huh. What did you think about Zyla? I, f I just have this feeling that she She's like here to throw us off. I don't know. Face tattoo. Most of the face That's tattoo true. people that is true. I have known are probably also tattoo artists. What are you talking about? Yeah. That's true. Hello, what's your Hi, name? Hi, Tiffany. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to, nice to meet, meet you. you. Well, I have a Bluetooth stencil printer and ink. Mm. Um, I was kind of lazy. I didn't really want to bring all my stuff today. So you would just like print off. Yeah, like I, I'll print out, art. yeah, and then and then lay it out on oh. um, the customer, and then peel it off, and then make sure that the outline is all set up, and then that's when we start tattooing. Okay, mm -hmm. you actually have some fresh ones. Yeah, I did here. that last night. You can't really stop; they're very addicting, and it feels very freeing too, honestly. What's the oddest request you've ever had from a client? I've had like requests before where people would ask for scriptures and I just wouldn't really take it just because it's not my style. So it's not really like odd, but it's just something I like refuse because it's like I'm not going to put my heart and soul into that. It's not going to be really, you know, special for them. So I appreciate that. If you're doing something that you're not really like into, that mm -hmm. might kind of like that energy might be yeah. in a tattoo. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Sorry, I forgot I was wearing these gloves. <laughs> <laughs> kind of feel like a superhero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And this is the ink you use? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, got Can it. Can we take a look? Yeah, sure. Do you, I noticed you only have black. Do you ever yeah. do other do colors? Black. You only yeah. do black. Oh, okay. just black. Yeah. Okay, that's your style. Mm -hmm. Tiffany knew that she was having this shoot today. Do you think that was part of her plan? Be like, yeah, these are fresh. I want to trust her and say that she, she did her own tattoos. But if she okay. did, then those are Mad profession. And she has this. Mean? Maybe her she friend has, has it. That machine. And she borrowed it. What kind of Very a person intense. that's a fraudulent <laughs> tattoo artist is gonna have any of this stuff? Unless they gave it to him on the show. Did you? Did you guys see that? You sickos. <laughs> Hello, Hi. last but not least. Welcome, welcome. What's, What's your, your name? name? Uh, my name is Christian. Nice, nice to meet you, nice Christian. Nice to meet you. Hey, what did you bring? But this is actually a, a rotary machine. And since you guys are gloved up, you can go ahead and take a look at it. Okay. It's just a pin. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty I cool. don't even know which side is which. Yeah, I don't so either. So right <laughs> like, here is where you would put like a dildo. Uh, uh, you put a, 
<laughs> you know, fair. I'm, I'm chunky. I'm, I'm like a boomer sometimes. With my joke. Boomers <laughs> don't say dildo. I feel like dildo is a classic right. boomer joke. Is there anything that you wouldn't do at all? Like, there's something that's some you feel morally wrong, you know, doing. Uh, uh, maybe genitalia. Okay. Know, maybe I'd avoid. As in, like tattooing that. genitalia or tattooing <laughs> genitalia on people. Yeah. Yes. Both. <laughs> <laughs> What about if like two people came in? Has this ever happened? And they're like, we just met, we're in love. Like yeah. we want to get tats of each other's names. I'd walk over in the corner, laugh a little bit, come back and I'd be like, all right, yeah, sure. Really? So, okay. Like, and then you do it small enough so that when they come back to get it covered up, then you can cover it up. Got it. Do you do uh, a lot of cover ups? Oh yeah. You it's seem, no you seem really level headed. Yeah. The opposite of me. <laughs> You're like very it's healthy a, with your thinking. It can be a stressful job. So it's good to just be calm, keep cool. Wow. Cause you deal with a lot of people. As I tattooed and tattooed for years and years, I just kind of found kind of a zen with uh, just kind of breathing. And you just kind of think about the moment. Okay, so I want to check out some of your tattoos. Yeah, I just, right now I just got some of my hand stuff out, but you know, it's a lot of movie stuff, a lot of like uh, Star Wars oh, and things like okay. that. And, and you do a lot yourself? Or? No. No, no never? I never touch myself with it. Oh, cool, okay. <laughs> and I think everyone can kind of answer this. Tattoos, kind of taboo, right, in like general society, especially the ones that are visible, say like face tattoos like your moon and some of the ones you saw. What would you say to those people? Yeah, deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, deal with it. Also like, you know, people discriminate against you just having visible tattoos or they make assumptions that you've gone to prison, but a long time ago, people used to get tattooed just to, you know, recognize what tribe you're from. Absolutely. Yeah, you should talk to my mom. About yeah, talk to his mom. My mom's Asian too, so yeah, she yeah. did the whole tattoo thing, but I'm sorry, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all so much. Um, it was a pleasure talking to you all, getting to know you, and yeah. God bless you all. <laughs> okay, so you, you've gotten a tattoo. Yes. Did any of them kind of give you like, oh yeah, that's the vibe of a tattoo artist? Did you get that? I mean, this is not helpful, but they all kind of did, because Normally people I've gone to have been super chill, laid back, and they all seemed really chill. Okay, let's start with expert. Gut instinct, boom, three, two, one. Awesome. <laughs> Christian though, like I said, he was calming, right? We all he felt was. calm around mm -hmm. him. Yeah. When I think about a tattoo artist, they might just kind of be like quiet, like, hey man, just let me, let me put that thing on your arm, dude. <laughs> right. And I feel like, Tiffany and Christian had more of that vibe. So you think Zyla's the problem? That's what I was gonna say oh. as well. And and I never and, thought that. What were you thinking? Yeah, I thought Zyla expert. Really? Because of the old school mm. machine. That's fair. Right. I, I watched a YouTube video about like a spy talking about how to spot a liar, <laughs> and the one person that kind of seemed to be like turning away and not really engaging was um, Tiffany, a little bit avoiding some things from this spy video that I watched. <laughs> yes. Was it spy kids? It, it was spy kids. Okay. You think Tiffany would be amateur? She got into the whole stencil making process a little bit um, and saying that she doesn't like to do scriptures. That's tattoos, right. Which is it's a pretty likely story. That's kind of an mm. interesting thing. And maybe Zyla is a fraud. They kept talking about like, people think that if you have tattoos, that means you're in prison. Yeah, that I might guess. be an old school it's a traditional view. view so maybe it's a Zyla is a lover of tattoos mm. and a huge like proponent for tattoos, but that right. doesn't necessarily mean they're an artist. Mm -hmm. I'm freaking out though. Cause I like literally two minutes ago thought Zyla was the expert. <laughs> How do you feel? I'm still excited, but it, I'm I'm nervous now. Like it's, yeah. it's real. Yeah. <laughs> it's about to happen. So now we're gonna bring back our tattoo artist. I'm Welcome, Heather. welcome back. This was hard, actually, to be honest. I know you might think they say that every time, but it literally felt like an hour yeah. deliberation. Zyla, we think you are the fraud. We thought you knew a lot about tattoos. You obviously have some amazing tattoos. Um, but we thought maybe you were kind of talking about it in a way that was like trying to trip trick us. Three, two, one. I freaking knew it! <laughs> I knew it! See, like I knew it! <laughs> Are you okay, Bridget? Yeah, I mean, that's one down. Could be the this amateur. next one's important. Tiffany, hello there. We thought you were the amateur. 
It seems like you're pretty knowledgeable about tattoos. It seems like you have clients. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the, the specific examples of like what you won't do. Yeah. You know, uh, but maybe it's more of like a side hustle. I don't know. That's kind of yeah. our reasoning. Very I calm and collected. But yeah, maybe you're um, just getting into it. Anyways, we're obviously probably wrong. But uh... three, two. What does this mean? <laughs> <laughs> this is terrifying. Best case scenario, Christian... Is not the fraud. Yeah. All right, what we're gonna do is, uh, Christian, we're gonna have you tattoo for kids. Before we know. Oh, before we know. <gasps> oh. oh my god. <laughs> Got this <first> Hi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How do you feel? I'll get back to you. <laughs> now I don't know how I feel. Oh my gosh, he's the freaking fraud. Are you joking? Well, you, there's Hello. the tools that you had out. And but are I, they his tools? That's valid. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. Good. Yeah. Good. That's good. That's you really know. It's good that we're both good right now. Yeah, exactly. right. right now, yeah. Yes, at this Later, moment. Yes. I will also be good. Water. Water. How are we doing? Good. How are you doing? <laughs> How are you doing? Gotcha, good. Um, no, this is normal. I do this all the time. Okay. Okay. Okay, before you do it though, are you sure? Me? Are yeah. you guys sure? Yeah. Wait, what? What do you mean? Does he need to sanitize or something? <laughs> no, an alcohol swab? Sure. So if a fraud was giving a tattoo, I would be 100% worried about contamination, um, bloodborne pathogens, and also if that person really knows how to operate a tattoo machine. Okay, Bridget. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Ready? Uh, okay. I'm ready. I'm gonna start. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. In the skin. Here we go. Look at that. How you feel? Oh, all done. That's good. All done. <laughs> to another line. Go for it. Okay. I mean, that one, that sure. one looks pretty good. Yeah, all right. Yeah, there we go. How are you guys feeling over there? My heart is pounding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I bet. <laughs> You're good at lines. So, yeah, I am the expert. I knew it! <laughs> wow! I knew it! You know, growing up, I, I just grew up as an artist and didn't really know where I wanted to go. My sister started jumping into the tattoo game, and so she invited me to get into a shop with her. So I did. I started tattooing and I found that it's the best thing for me. So you're, you're an amateur? I'm actually an apprentice um, for two years now. Because I moved to Riverside, now I'm gonna be transferring over either opening my own little shop or continuing my apprenticeship. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And you're a fraud. Mm -hmm. I, okay. That's what I said. But I said, I thought you were the fraud because I was like, she's great, loves her tats, but yeah. I don't know. I was like, she didn't talk much. I, I literally spent 10 hours with my tattoo uh, tattoo artist yesterday. Literally, like, I know his entire backstory wow. and memorized it for this moment. That's what I said. Remember, I was like, maybe she just got some tattoos for this shoot, like, to be like, yeah, I just was this dude. Yeah. I really actually did. Oh I thought my all God. For this video? Oh, you? no, no, no. Okay. I just wanted extra, so I got five. Yeah. Yesterday. I actually started getting tattoos um, like six months ago, and I have 20 now. How's it going, Bridget? You feeling good? good? I feel really good. I am really proud of all of us. Wow. <laughs> this and is great. Thank you guys so much for watching. I mean, I feel so much better. I do too. It was I actually so, so stressful. Like, I was having an emotional reaction and thinking that we just like, what did we do? <laughs> we really want to hear your comments, what you thought. Did you know? Were you freaked out?